Updated August 16, 2018 23 hours 12 minutes and 37 seconds The premiere of the new season of Channel 10's The Bachelor aired last night, with Nick Cummins in the lead role. The former professional rugby union player has brought Australian slang to a mainstream audience, meaning this season of The Bachelor will attract both fans of reality TV and linguists. Cummins, who is affectionately known as the Honey Badger, rose to fame when many of his post-match interviews went viral due to his entertaining quips. Australian linguists champing at the bit when Mark Gwynn heard that Cummins would be the 2018 Bachelor. He knew the popular TV series would attract more attention than usual in his office. Mr Gwynn works at the Australian National Dictionary Centre and is constantly looking for examples of Australian idioms and slang, also known as strine. With an entire series focusing on a man who is famous for his use of strine, the reality show will provide many hours of opportunities for the honey badger to tap into his bank of sayings. He's gold when it comes to the language of the Australian colloquial, Mr Gwyn said. We're always looking for new terms and evidence of older terms we might not see and hear much anymore. Here are just a few of Cummins's amusing sayings and descriptions. Last year we were all sizzle and no steak, but now we're off like a bride's nighty, busier than a one-armed bricklayer in Baghdad, got a couple of knocks and a whack on the schnoz, sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage, sports community and rhyming slang. Perhaps the appeal of Cummins' as use of strine is how he has chosen to include it in his sporting interviews, a domain usually riddled with unimaginative cliches. He now gets a new forum to show off his slang as he vies for the love of 25 beautiful women in front of a national television audience. According to Mr Gwynn, Cummins not only uses well-known sayings, but tweaks him and makes up his own, he's very idiosyncratic. He uses, rat up a drain pipe, and then, rat down a drain pipe, as well, Mr Gwynn, he'll often play with the language and there will be Terms and expressions we know but he'll change them slightly. Surprisingly, Cummins is also an author, having written three books in the last four years. Mark Gwynn has read two of them, Tales of the Honey Badger and Adventures of the Honey Badger. The more I've looked at his language over the past few years, and I've read his books, I think he's genuinely a larrikin like Paul Hogan and Steve Irwin, who loves to play with language, Mr Gwynn said, it's not necessarily put on. He just enjoys using language, and you find that in the sports community where there's a lot of people who enjoy rhyming slang, by referring to a try in rugby union as a meaty, Mr Gwynn said Cummins has blended two favourite Australian techniques. Cummins has used rhyming slang as try, rhymes with meat pie, and then he shortened the term and added a y, perhaps one of the funnier parts of Cummins' career was when he played for a Japanese rugby club, I think they genuinely liked his exuberant character, but they probably didn't understand a word he was saying, Mr Gwynn said. Some of his would-be lovers might also struggle to follow him too. Given the cutthroat nature of reality television, they will need to be as tough as woodpecker lips. Topics, television broadcasting, super rugby, social media, people, television, popular culture, rugby union, Wollongong 2500, Canberra 2600, Perth 6000, Japan, Randwick 2031, Crestmead 4132, Logan City DC 4114, South Brisbane 4101, Brisbane 4000, Chambers Flat 4133, Port Macquarie 2444 First posted August 16, 2018 15 hours 33 minutes and 36 seconds.